Welcome everybody to Area of Effect Gaming. We're playing Project Entropy. Today's topic will be getting the game, getting through the initial tutorial, uh, just in general, um, you know, getting your account from like level one to 10, uh, that kind of stuff. Cause you can do it relatively quickly in like a half hour to an hour, give or take. So the first thing you do is um, the game loads you with your command center and it wants you to go find some energy. So we did that already. Uh, now it wants us to upgrade our command center. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I picked up a weak signal from nearby. We need to find out what it is. Data shows that this planet is home to a dangerous species called the Grod. So please- And you can't really skip through this. So we just get through it. Excuse me, have you seen my arm? I lost it and I can't move without the balance it provides. All right, so now we gotta go get this arm. It'll pull it up and then we take it over there. Yeah, we get to give it, so it takes it over there and puts the arm on the RR7, which is that type of robot. Hooray! My arm! I can't thank you enough. My guardian angel. I was working for so. Yeah, so you just click to speed through this you? stuff. You're a commander too. There are many facilities that we. Most of the time, here. this information oh, can be useful, so I, I recommend reading it if you're not trying to speed run through the start. But now it's telling you we need to go into this X area, but it needs to be command center two before we can do that. So we'll have to upgrade our command center, which we can do very easily. Okay, now let's check out that. Come with me. And now it's going to have us build a solar plant once we uh, explore this area. So it'll send a probe. We hit check, and it'll reveal it. Now sometimes the there's monsters, sometimes there's here. not. Once activated, it can provide enough power for your base. Yep, so it wants us to get that solar plant built and it needs energy to do that. So we're sending our RR2 out to gather more energy. Pretty much when it finishes, we're gonna send it on to another one. And you're gonna keep that going. Early Great. game you get a lot of these little piles that you can collect. Hold on. I just received a list of missions from headquarters. According to the list, our Alright, so now that unlocks missions. So the first, we always want to make sure we click on these when they're done and we've done that stuff. So now the next one is upgrade the solar plant to level two. So to do that, we're going to need energy, which means harvesting more energy. So we're going to send our little RR2 over to get more energy. And now he's got enough because it lit up with an upgrade button. All right, that, caught, that takes that mission. We're going to claim them all. And I usually, you can read through this if you want. I usually just hit that power that icon. Sense. It closes it out. About this. So now we're going to get a little garage show up. And that's going to introduce the combat oh, no. aspect of the game. It's going to introduce your first hero Quick. and your first Find vehicle. Looks like you got a little bug problem. Well, For some reason, on. he's always blacked out there. I don't know why. Calm down. Probably I'm just here. a bug. Need to set up a formation before entering combat. All right, so I want you to click on your formation to add my favorite type of uh, Russ Parker and then there. add the vehicle. Actually, in spite of the so fact just click a couple times, get it through the auto, ready to rock and roll. through the X, tutorial. Kick some grod ass. And then we click on the grod and we want to attack it. And now this will take you into the combat screen. You'll see a lot of these, you do them a lot in the grod wars. Uh, which is the mission tree. So this is the first time we've done the formation, so we have to click on him to add him. Now you can add him. It's not letting me do it right now, but you could put him down or click and drag and move him to any of these spots. There's six total spots on the formation grid, so you can set your formations kind of however you want. Tanks up front, DPS in the back, etc. But we're going to go ahead and hit fight. And Rose Parker's going to attack this squad. All right, so we won that battle, obviously. The this game's designed to make you win it. I think we should invite him to join us. Yep. So we're gonna basically. I don't. It doesn't matter which one of these you do. He comes no, on either way. The scavenger camp to the south of here has a lot of veterans. So now it wants us to go over here, but we have to be command center three. So we're gonna try to upgrade, and it wants more energy. So we're gonna harvest more energy from little piles. So these are energy piles. These little bluish cylinders. Uh, these are food piles right here. These are gold piles. You'll get like 100 gold or something like that. So um, 
so that's good. These can vary, these like uh, like branches and stuff like that. They can vary in what they give. Sometimes they give food, sometimes they give other stuff. Uh, these little piles here are metal, which is good. There's a couple different variations for each of these. So we'll point them out as we get a little bit bigger. Uh, but we have enough now to upgrade to three, so we're going to do that. Out here in the wastelands won't be easy. We could use more help. All right, now it says we can scout this area out, so we're going to do that. And we're going to collect our mission. So that's the mobilization center, I think. Uh, so as soon as we build that, it'll activate that. So we're going to click on that and it's going to start the little mission tree. So it wants us to collect food to recruit these scavengers. Again, either one of those messaging, it, it, it happens, same thing happens either way. So it needs food. So now it's telling us that we found another RR2 unit that we can... Uh, yep, I'm trying. Okay, so we're gonna, we, first you wanna go get this R2 before you tell it to go get food, because that'll give us a second one and trigger Sounds the second great. part of the quest okay, or mission. Get busy. And now it's gonna want us to go get both piles of food so that we can get up to 280. All right, so he's going to finish up here in a second. There we go. Now we got enough food. We're going to give it, which basically Those builds it. The are willing to join us. They even turned their old home back into a mobilization center All so right. we can start training reservists. Some of, the, some of the servers have this as an option. You have mystery traders. The one I'm currently on, on my main account, does not. So I'm glad because this is really annoying. It gives you very little reward for an interaction and extra crap to do, which I don't particularly care for. Most times I just skip it. But you'll see a little question mark occasionally on your map if you're on a server that has that feature enabled. It's really weird. The, the, the servers tend to have different sets of operating rules per server, and they kind of alternate. I don't particularly think that's fair, but that you know each server has different operating instructions but, and different things that they can get but it is what it is so we're gonna go ahead and tell it to grab these two gold things because we need to clear this corner because the way I like to build my base is food energy metal so I need to clear that area out get that tree out of the way all right so we need to train 20 reservists and upgrade the solar plant to level three so we're gonna go in here and train with proper and we're going to train them. With... Okay, we're losing daylight here. So Let's you just click a bunch of times until reserves. it goes. Now it counts as it goes. So, or once we tell it to train 20, it just counts it as done. Uh, so now we just need to upgrade the solar plant, which we've got the materials for, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Headquarters will gradually send us more building facilities. Getting sent to building a solar plant can increase our energy production. All right, so it's giving us another building to build, which is another solar plant. So we're going to put that down, and then we're going to immediately click to move it, click on the other one, put it in the corner, move that one over. All right, we'll click on the mission up here, claim all. That's the end of the chapter. Again, read it if you want, but I'm exiting out. What the hell? Scanning. That's an earthquake. I thought it was the Grod. Earthquakes, the Grod. You never know what we're going to yep, have to so We'd better collect as many resources as we can. All right, so now it wants us to upgrade to Command 4. Uh, we need to process Level 5 of Russ Parker. Solar plant to Level 4. Uh, mobilization to 4, train 50. So we got a lot of things. So basically at this point, you know, I'm gathering everything. Uh, I'm training constantly. Uh, we're at max cap. Okay, so right now the first thing we want to do is Click on this battle stations and click on Russ Parker. Would you like to check your and it's upgrade? this is where I want you. It's going to show you what all this stuff is. Each special once upgraded, they'll be able to lead more combat. 
Alright, and we're going to upgrade him to level 5, which the game gives you enough experience to upgrade him to level 5 at this point. So we do that. That'll make that mission go away. Let's see what we need for 4. Mobilization 3. We can upgrade that, so we'll do that. And now we need to upgrade that again, but we're short on metal. So we're going to go get metal. And this icon up here on top of the resource buildings just is a quick claim button. So we can claim that. And that icon is an upgrade icon, meaning that it can be upgraded. Also, you see that green arrow right there? That also means the building can be upgraded. So if you have enough materials in your inventory to upgrade it, that green arrow will be present. And that... Um, and I think that is particularly on this one... You know what, I'm not sure why that is there, because it should be... That's probably because we don't have enough resources, right? Yeah, okay. So we haven't met the requirements, so it's not showing, that's why. Alright, so let's upgrade this to 3. Let's upgrade this to 4. Alright, so we're almost there. Now we need to upgrade the solar plant to level 4, so this one's 3. We need more iron again, or more metal. So we did upgrade our command center so we can view another area. So we're going to scout that. And then we're going to collect these two things over here while we wait. Now this is going to reveal another area that gives us more free resources. Oh my. Look what the cat dragged in. All right. So it's showing us it's, we're in, it's introducing Bonnie, which is your second hero that the game gives you for free. She's oh a thermal God. hero. Still moody, guys. I was looking for the analysis lab to get the new weapon. At least I think she's a thermal hero. Is the new weapon in the drop? Well, I never use her, so. Oh, right, Parker. We can always count on you. All right, so now the the game wants us to upgrade the analysis lab and repair it, but we need a lot of metal to do that. So, uh, we're gonna do that. So the boxes with the little metal, that's metal. And then the, just the metal piles scattered is metal. Uh, I'm currently, at, you see I accidentally clicked the building materials. We can just cancel that. We'll need those a little later, but we're focused on metal right now. Because we need to get this lab built. All right, there we go. All right, lab is renovated. Wow. I'll take the cobble. All right, so the, the most important thing early game is to not build things that it's not asking you to build because that that can hamstring you later because you need... The game, for like level 1 to 10, the game gives you exactly what you need to get there if you follow the mission tree. So if you start upgrading things out of order or when they're not telling you to upgrade them, you can end up hamstringing yourself by not having enough resources to continue the mission. So it's very important you do not build anything at least before level 8 or at 8 or below unless the mission tree is telling you to do it. Alright, so now we're asking her to join us. We're going to add her to the formation. All right, now I gave us bulwark because that was was it was in the chest. Bulwark is great early. It generates a shield for itself, um, so it can help protect itself. And if once you unlock thermal armor, that over here is great too. That pretty much makes it impenetrable, uh, or it's it's very good. Not impenetrable, but very good. So it wants us to read the thing. Yeah, da da da. Yeah. So having Bonnie's skill is reducing kinetic and energy damage by 3%, and it can stack up to 3 times, so a total of 9%. Now it wants us to fill her up. We're going to go back. A little bit of dialogue. Yeah, so tanks you typically put in the front, DPS in the back of your formations. Ooh, there we go. Now we got another R2 unit. That'll help us uh, gather all this stuff easier. So the next thing is to get the mobilization to 4 and the solar plant to 4. So what do we need for the... Help! Parker! 
No. Nope. Got another swarm. Alright, so it wants us to engage in combat again. And it's not going to let us do anything until we do it, so. We're going to go ahead and do this battle. And we got to add Bonnie because this is she's new to the formation. And I'm actually going to change this up. See, now it's showing you that you can change these up. So I'm going to put Bonnie in the front and Russ in the back, and we're going to fight. That way the tank is the first one to engage, and it has the highest threat. So it will take the bulk of the damage. All right, we did lose the tank. I think we're I think we're short on troops. I could have added more troops to Russ Parker, but we're gonna do that here in a second. Yeah, we should have been able to do 500 and 100. Come on, old man, you worry too much. All right, so we're gonna go into battle stations. We're gonna see, I think we can do Bonnie now. Yeah, so we're gonna put Bonnie up to five. And that's one of the mission tree items as well. So we're just going ahead and take care of that early. Now we're gonna go into formations. Until we hit level six, I think, we can't do auto. So we have to go in here and manually train them. And yeah, we're, we're short. We're gonna to wanna to change that. We're gonna bring that down. Bring Bonnie up to like 300 or something. And then put the rest of the guys on there. And then we'll just have to train. So that means we gotta upgrade this guy. And now that he's upgraded, his cap is higher. So we're gonna train some more. And we're gonna collect all these missions. Now we still need to do the solar plant to level four. So what do we need to do that? We need more energy. So we're gonna collect energy and we'll get that solar plant upgraded. Uh, there isn't another energy out here, so we'll just go ahead and finish those building materials that we needed. All right, it's ready. We're gonna upgrade. That finishes that mission, and that is the end of the chapter. Again, we're gonna you can read, but we're gonna pass. And now you see a little pod come in and crash. That's in an area we'll be able to unlock later. But that's where the game is pointing us. It wants us to get there. So it's telling us we need to get to Command Center 6 to do that. We need more metal and two building materials to upgrade. So we are going to do that and get more metal. And hopefully we'll just wait for the upgrade button to pop. Alright, so now it wants us 400 capacity for two units. Which we've almost got. We're just waiting on the, the troops to train. So let's go back in here. Nope, sorry. Formation. Uh, let's increase him a slight bit, but let's try to get more on Bonnie. Alright. Almost there. They should be. They should allow us to get upgraded. Yeah. So pretty much any time you upgrade the command center, the recruit, the mobilization center needs to be upgraded before it. So these are two buildings you always this you always want to have upgraded before you do your command center, because it's always a requirement. Sometimes there's other buildings as requirement, but Commander, mobilization center is always out. required. Where should we spread some democracy next? All right, so now it wants us to go look over here, which will unlock some stuff for us to go collect, which is good. And again, that's how we keep progressing is by collecting these materials in the new areas that we're unlocking. This ain't good. That's a grod beetle we're facing. Oh yeah, Crap. the grad beetle. I think there are some scavengers around here who know how to operate mechs. All right, maybe so, we could speak of the devil. There's no time to waste. Then I'll invite them now. Yep. So it's gonna let us go out and invite these guys uh, before we've cleared this area. Normally we can't touch the stuff until we've cleared the grad, uh, but this is part of the mission, so it's letting us do it. Okay, full up scavengers. So that's Welcome perfect. Now we have. Full troops, we're going to max the tank core out first, and then any leftovers can go in there, which maxes both out. Perfect. Alright, now we are going to attack the Grod. 
formation is still set, so we're going to go ahead and fight. As you, as you see, Bonnie just got done with her shield. When the when the blue number is minus, that means it's damage that took from the shield. When it's a plus, it means it's adding shield. So it's adding 20 shield, and then each of their hits are doing 5 damage. So it takes 4 hits to eat up the shield damage. See? So 4 blue, and then they started going white, which just means you're doing damage. So and we took 82 damage to the shield, is what it's telling us with those statistics. So now we need a lot of food to upgrade this next building. So there's a food pile there. Now these are wafers, this, these blue octagonal things. We will need those, but not quite yet. So we're going to focus on just grabbing three food. We're going to click the mission we've got. Um, so that's the vehicle assembly station, so we need to get that to level three. Nice. We... The mech assembly station is built. The power of our mech troops has been greatly improved. All right. So sometimes, like I said, the servers do different categories. So the way this server is obviously running it is the vehicle is specifically for tank stats. So you upgrade this to improve your tanks. Um, in some games, this one just does vehicle improvement. So it. I think I like this way better, but like I said, yeah, the servers do it differently, which makes it kind of weird, but so it wants energy. So we're going to do that. We'll go ahead and do one of these wafers now. We'll do this other energy over here and we'll take that. Nope, that's all three. Okay. So now we're just waiting. Looks like we can upgrade it again. Rank three. Um, all right. So now we've got Yukiko. Who are you? We're here to conquer this planet. It's classic. Let's invite her to join us. We can always use more friends, right? All right. So we don't get Yukiko permanently. Um, it's taking you through the tutorial for the Warfront, um, which is the Grod Wars, Hello, which is basically our mission tree. Attack helicopter. How may I... My name is Yukiko. Only human children? A Grod that he... Thank you for your help. All right. So we're going to enter. We're going to enter the fight. And you're going to see the battleground. Now we get to add her for temporarily for this battle. So we're going to add her and fight. And they should go down fairly quick. And as you see, they're doing a lot more damage, so... Don't worry. My skills and my Pokefine's area will take care of But Yukiko does a lot of damage, so she's the one that's keeping us alive. And what I don't like about this game is that we cannot... specifically tell it what item to auto-target. It just auto-targets whatever it wants. Which is ridiculous. It could be attacking something that has, let's say, 10,000 hit points when there's something that has one hit point left right next to you that's doing damage to you, but you can't hit it. Thank you. you have to use a, one of the special the weapons to target it, is not here. which is really weird. Miss Yukiko is so cool. I can't wait to see her again. But anyway, so we got that mission done. We got the tree up to three. Uh, we're going to get that and that and that. And now it wants us to train more reservists and get the mobilization center up to level 5, so we're going to do that. Alright, it's up to 5, now we're going to train... Train 200 more troops. Alright, we finished that chapter. I heard from some skip. Alright, to eliminate... Hey, it's Miss Yukiko! Alright, so it wants us to go... A little farther into the tree now. Oh no, it's telling us... It's introducing the store, so it's going to give us a free drop pod. And drop pods are where you get your heroes from, your vehicles, your weapons, um, and any energy splinters, which are these yellow things up here. You can use those to biohack your heroes. If you haven't, uh, if you don't know what biohacking is, I ha have another video about the 10 things every entropy player should know. That's one of them. Um, so you can check that video out. I'll put a link in the description or link it up in the video near the end but let's go ahead and get that drop pod so this is going to give us our first weapon i believe it is nuclear grenades time's running short 
There are right. people we need to save in that land. So the game we is basically going to let progress. us upgrade it for one gold. So when it, when it, yeah, yeah, new nuclear grenades. So when you get an actual item like a, a hero, a vehicle, or weapon, you will not get splinters. But if you open a regular one and it doesn't proc oh, to a rare or an epic, kind of weapon can um, then you will get energy splinters now as a reward, Let's equip these for our which formation. is your primary method of of getting those. So we're going to attach the nuclear grenades to the formation now, and now he's got a full formation. Now, so we're going to exit out of the regiment. Swarms gathering where the landing pod crashed. Now you can test out your new weapons. Yep, but of course we have to get up to six first, which means vehicle assembly five. All right. As you can see, all of our building has helped us get to where we need to be. But we need six, so we need more of those building materials, which is good because that's what we're getting right now. All right, we're gonna get that extra drop pod over there. All right, and the ones with the claw, meaning you have to click on them to collect the reward, otherwise they just accumulate like the resources they just add to the pool as they're doing it those you have to click to add it so we're going to upgrade now that we've got the materials when you upgrade to level six it adds you into the store the ability to buy yukiko for one dollar in my opinion if you're going to spend one dollar on this game that is the dollar to spend she's a very good early game hero not trying to sell, but you know, if you're gonna spend a dollar, that is definitely worth it. Because you're never gonna get another rare hero for for a dollar. So, all right, we're exploring that area. We're gonna finish collecting all this stuff. So, when the pod is analyzing, when it's purple, that means it's analyzing because it is going to guarantee you an uh, a rare item either a hero, vehicle, or weapon. When it's got a gold hue, the timer will likely be longer, but that means it's triggered an epic. So you already know when it's on here what you're gonna get from it, uh, relatively, you know, not exactly what you're gonna get, but the, the type you're gonna get. That looks like the grad swarm is. Your mech is equipped. Yeah, Pops, don't let us down now. All right, so yeah, we want to attack that scorpion, but not quite yet. We need to, I think what the game wants us to do, yeah, it wants us to upgrade two heroes to level 10, so we got to go into battle stations. We're going to upgrade Parker. And Bonnie. All right, now we're going to go into formations. We're going to focus on getting her maxed first and then Russ. So we still have a ways to go for Russ and we can't train anymore, we're over cap. So we're gonna take those missions um, and we can actually upgrade the mobilization center. So we'll go ahead and do that because we know that's gonna be critical to advancing and also it will increase our cap which will allow us to train more which will allow us to max him out all right now while that's doing that take collect these and we'll see where we're at so this we can go ahead and do this one while we wait and it's not going to affect us not having a full formation we should be able to eat the, beat this fairly easily All right, now it's introducing the grenades. So when they when the when the bar fills up, uh, then it triggers the ability to use it. So you can later on you can set auto use and it'll kind of do its own thing, or you can click on them to manually trigger them. Um, I like to be very careful with these. I try to work it so that I get the most items in one hit, and it looks like that's going to be my max. 
and I want to get the ones closest to me. So I'm going to let go, and that'll trigger the nuclear grenade. And we're going to wait for it to do it again. I'm actually going to wait another second. There we go. And that'll get more in my range, I think. So is that four or five? Yeah, that's about all I can get. So we'll do these. Damn bugs. Here's a little present for you. <laughs> Wow, the grot are really getting blown to bits. All right, now I'm going to do these two back here. And there we go. Victory. All right, so you see we did get some energy and food from that. Uh, it's early game, it's useful, but uh, relatively meaningless. All right, let's do this. So it's going to open the pod. And this is Lindsay Wells, I think. We don't actually Kingsville. get her as a hero. My name is Lindsay Wells. The behemoth the lip. No, there's a grot a grot behemoth. Oh man. Well, there's a quantum a behemoth. I All hope right. it won't get in the way of my mission. Alright, so it wants us to collect wafers, so we've already done a little bit of collecting of wafers, so we just need to finish. And while that's building, let's see what this will need to upgrade. We'll need to, we need to upgrade the fire control hub, which we can now build. So I'm going to put that down here for a minute. Yeah, I can't really put it anywhere else. Yeah, so it'll just stay there for now. Actually, I'll move these real quick. So what did that say? I think it need to be five. Okay. So that needs energy for us to get it to level five. So as soon as we're done collecting the wafers, we'll do energy. It's all about being efficient and being as fast as possible, you know, knowing what each building needs to upgrade with uh, and just following the missions for the first couple levels and you can really just burn through them fast. All right, now we got enough to upgrade. The intel agency is complete. Now all right. let's see what we can find. Alright, so the intel agency is crucial. We click it, so the when intel agency is going to start showing radar, mission points. Look, every 12 hours check out. it resets and you get another batch. And then every time you fill this bar up, it'll reset again. It won't reset the timer but it'll just reset and give you more options. So getting through the first four or five levels is relatively quick. So we're just gonna go to it. It's gonna show it on the map. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna grab all and we're gonna attack. Now I'm gonna go closer, but I'm gonna attack with Bonnie first. So when you're attacking swarms on the map, it engages only with what attacked it. So we're gonna engage with our tank. And then we're gonna attack with all. That way Russ starts attacking. But then that thing is only attacking our tank. So there we go. Now we can re retreat back to the base. We found some supplies, not and now we can go collect the reward for that. And because it was set at the one, we leveled up. Alright, so it leveled us up to level two. And now we need two more for our next one. Which, ironically, it gave us two. So these are chests. These are very simple. You just have to send a little robot to go get them. It doesn't use any of the resources we currently have. Or these little RR2s up here. It just sends a drone. Uh, so we go back in here. And then we go to the mission again it just sends a little drone and then we can go back in we'll wait for that and go back into our base while we're waiting collect that mission so it wants upgrade vehicles to level three okay so we cannot do that quite yet but we can get that robot so we'll do that and we'll click on this little question mark guy i'm sure there's an order to what these give you and you you can get random better results but I have not tended to care. <laughs> All right, so we needed more energy, right? So this thing's ready to upgrade, so we're gonna upgrade it. 
Looks like we're short of iron for five, so we'll send that guy over to get iron. And now that we've got another R2, we're going to put him on iron. I'm going to go collect these. So it looks like those two give us wafers, and it unlocked level three. So now we got more to do. And you want to go ahead and do these when they come out. Um, it does take a little bit of time, but it's free resources, which you can use to build up faster. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to send them out, and then I'm going to go back into base. Like I said, normally I would start with my tank, but I'm really in a time-efficient crunch right now. So we're going to scout that area. And that is ready to upgrade to 5. Yep. Okay. All right, now Command Center 7. We need food and some more building materials. So we're going to keep an eye out for food and building materials. So we have two to use. We're going to do food. And then we now have another one. We're going to do building materials. And when that other one frees up, we'll do building materials. Oh, no. Sorry. So the RR2s, uh, they do get used up if they're analyzing. So that's why we only have three. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. It only costs 15 gold. You get enough gold through regular play that you really don't have to worry about not speeding these up. Oh, nice. Contour Craft. That's awesome. So Contour Craft is good because when it attacks, it repairs uh, troop capacity. So this out of a thousand uh, is what it repairs. So we're actually going to change Russ. Oh, they're out. That's why I can't change them. I was going to say, I'm going to change Russ out. Uh, to use contour craft, uh, but we got to bring them all back first. Yep. All right, so we're going to go into Intel Agency while we're waiting for them to come back. We're going to collect all these. All right, so it's done. We won't get to the next level until it refreshes in three hours, but that's perfectly fine. did it put me on oh it put me on 71 that's weird okay that was unexpected it didn't put me on a new server it put me on my the server my mains on oh huh. yeah I figured it would put me on 72 but it did not Okay, that's fine. That's accounted just for uh, showing, so I'm not overly worried about it. Alright, so let's go back in here. Alright, good. Our command center is ready to upgrade. Alright, and at this point, uh, again, it's going to offer you to get Yukiko. We can collect all of our all of our things here. All right, so once upgrade vehicles to level three. So I think that's the next building that we're gonna build is, yeah, the Vehicle Research Center. So that requires wafers. So we wanna make sure we collect those. All right, so now we can do research. How do we use Accessory research can get us what we need to enhance our vehicle. Yeah, so you can read through that if, if you lucky, want. But might even get some accessory, accessory resource we gives us some wafers on accessory research. basically levels for vehicles. So every level adds like attack, defense, health by one to each vehicle. So it basically buffs all of your formations. So you want to keep up with this. You don't want to fall behind. Oh, you see the triad right there. So it. There we go. So it increases firepower by one, energy, health, energy defense, and kinetic defense for every vehicle. Every time it levels up. Alright, so we're out, and I think we met the criteria, so we're going to collect it. Alright, now I've already bound, bound to a 
Google account, so it's it giving me that mission for free. All right, now these are dailies. Uh, when you see the red numbers up here, that means you've got some dailies to collect. So we're gonna collect these, and you'll get free chests and get free stuff. Um, but we'll come back to those a little bit later. So we're gonna tell him to go ahead and get that uh, pod opened. And we've got one extra. So now what does it need? It wants us to do the Grod Wars. So we're gonna go down here to the Grod War and we're gonna do the next the couple. Red thing? Yo, and Yukiko's gonna to join us for those. For the red Time to scour this Damn, were you hiding all that? Right, we have to add her to the map again because she's not, uh, she's a special entry. She's not part of our normal formation. No, oh, I should have switched to contour craft before I started this, but we'll do it after. Alright, so I gotta wait for them to get in range, which it doesn't really do. <laughs> yeah, Porcupine, uh, the vehicle she's got has such a long range okay Yukiko, have you i apologize you don't i know all right i think it's gonna have us get to the third one so we're gonna do it one more time no i just want all right add her again move her to the back then we'll fight Again, out of range. Oh, there we go. Didn't really need to do it. <laughs> but I figured why not. Yukiko's just killing him so fast. Alright, so we're done with that one. So basically, I think, I'm pretty sure this part is basically selling Yukiko, right? So Let's that you get that initial bloodlust investment you spend that dollar and then it, for, it's for a great hero so then you you think all deals are great not all deals are great I need right another but plan. yukiko for a dollar is probably the best deal in the game especially early another earthquake it's located to our north all right so it's telling us there's a grad there yep And it's angry. We gotta be fully prepared before. Man, I didn't. We've got. We already have. I didn't. My apologies. What? Sorry. Miss Yukiko. Oh man. All right. Why would Miss Yukiko leave? So us? much dialogue. I miss her already. All right. So we finished a chapter and a milestone. So it's giving us a reward of a drop pod. So we're gonna analyze that. We're going to go ahead and click on this one. See how it was blue? That means it's generic. So it should give us energy splinters and fragments for other stuff. So the fragments, once you get enough of them, you can combine them and you get a, that item. All right. So we'll let that stew for the moment. We're not particularly worried about it. Well, yeah, we need the thing. So we're going to speed it up. Oh, Trident. Pretty common. Most people get it. It's a good, uh, decent electrical vehicle. Um, but we've got to scout this area now, so we're going to do that. Um, we're going to just kind of collect stuff while we wait. Just, you know, remember, always keep these guys going. Alright, so now we need 2,000 troops. So we're going to go in and change that formation. We're going to put... Commander, if we upgrade... Calm down. Another formation currently our command capability cap is right. not high enough. So our command so cap is 10, which means capability requirement of possible candidates before recruiting yep. you, you can read all that. I'm gonna go in here and explain it in a second. Alright, so command cap is 10. We're currently using six. So each hero has a number up here in the corner. That's the command cap that they're using. And let's see, both of these are three. So they take up a total of six. When you level up your command center, you gain a command ability, and then there's another building later on that you can build, a regimental control center, that also increases that cap. So keeps somebody from totally getting good RNG and then using all those good heroes in one formation, 
when they're te technically weak, so it kind of kind of forces fair play, which I kind of like. Unless, uh, you know, it's that account that has all the awesome stuff. So we have no third hero right now, so we cannot actually fill three hero slots. So when you get to level seven, it unlocks that third slot, and then 12 unlocks the fourth, and then 15 unlocks the fifth. So you really want to try to push your way to 15 as fast as possible. All right, yeah, so it's telling us we need to clear the grot first. So let's go into the formation. Let's replace the vehicle with the contour craft, fill them back up. And see, now we've got the auto assign button here so we can max uh, refill all the formations from one easy button, which is really nice. We do have a couple more buildings to build. Uh, we got a food depot and a metal refinery. All right, so I'm gonna move these to put the food there. All right. Yep, like I said, we're just keeping them busy. Um, so construct a mobilization center seven, so upgrade. All right, now we're seven, command level eight. We need upgrade hero center six. So we need to clear this out before we can really advance. Uh, it wants... Really? Okay. I'm not sure if that's the system auto joining or it's just somebody from that alliance. The nightshade quit. <laughs> I'm not sure why. I'm not going to join an alliance. He quit, so he should not be actually sending invites. <laughs> all right got a little sidetracked uh where were we training 800 okay so it's letting us train more so we're gonna do that and now these add to your pool as it goes so you don't have to wait you know 18 minutes to get all of them it'll just add them and for the mission requirements just triggering it caps it out so we're good there great hero center to level three which is again that building there Okay, so yep, pretty much we're, we need to kill this to move on. Uh, we probably could beat it right now, but we're going to double check and see if we can increase our heroes at all. No, we can't. Okay, so it's game's forcing us to beat it at the current level of things. So we're going to go ahead and do it. It does say it's weaker. We should be able to beat it. We got the formation. We're good to go. Now we're getting used to our grenades, finally. Ooh, there we go. All right, so it looks like we're probably gonna lose Bonnie before this battle's over, but it's fine. We just need to have at least one uh, one vehicle standing with one hit point to win the battle. So obviously it's strategic to have your tank last as long as possible. So that's what you always want to gear your formations for skill-wise. All right, but now we're in here, we can build this, which is the this hero is center. Station. I will search here. You guys should go on. So this building will increase your hero level cap. So right now the cap is 10, so we're going to increase it to 12. And that's what it wants us to do. And then we're going to go in here and increase them to 12. And we'll fill them up. And we'll grab all the goodies. All right, now we do have to upgrade Hero Center to three, so we're gonna do one more. All right, so now we have to defeat a Grod Swarm level two on the region map. Okay, so it wants us to defeat a Grod on the map. Uh, so we're gonna do that in a second. Then we're gonna increase them to 14. Yep, 
See, the game gave us just enough to get there. And now we got to find a level 2 Grodd. Um, you can do the Magnifying Glass, Grodd Behemoth. Come down to level 2. Uh, we are lowest on metal, and we're going to need that early to build, so we'll find a level 2 metal. And then we're going to come over here and attack it. Um, for the splinters, the little ones before level 5, it does not matter what formation you're in. Um, again, that video, 10 things every entropy player should know, has uh, a guide for how to set your formations around the Grod Behemoths for certain ones, because there's three different types, and they have different weapon skills, which have area of effect um, that you need to, you know, most efficiently avoid, so. All right, so we killed that, we're home, and now we can go out and actually get number three, so we're gonna do that. I think we can probably get it, so we're gonna try. All right. All right, upgrade to level six. Oh, really? Okay. Hold on. It really wants me to upgrade that to level six? Yeah, there, okay. All right, we need one more, but we need more building materials to get there. So I think that was building materials. No, it wasn't. That's building materials. And that is building materials. So if you want to stop them on something they're doing, you can click and click cancel and then tell them to do something else. So I'm just going to collect these while we wait. This gives us five gold just for acknowledging that this guy beat this thing first. Oh, there's my main account right there, Admiral Grogu. I was one of the first ones to kill a level eight. I was fourth. Yeah, this server's old. I'm not sure why I put a new player on this map, but... Because the players have a severe disadvantage if they're not, you know, if you don't join day one, every day that goes by after that, the person just gets a total disadvantage. So, I don't recall selecting this server to start with. I actually created the new account to do this video. And I think it just automatically moved it onto 71 because it did not give me the option to select what server I wanted to be on. But normally, if you were to create a new account, uh, go into settings account and world management, you can select which server you want to go to. So um, I would ideally was trying to go for 72. But anyway, um, let's see, we get two undone. Let's go for energy and food. Actually, we've got enough food. Let's go get that energy over there. There we go. All right, we should have enough now. Let's get this up to level six. Upgrade. All right, we need more building materials and then we can upgrade it. So perfect, we were already on collecting all the building materials. So we get the last one going there. I'm gonna get that thing over there, get that thing, and that one. These are almost done. Come on, there we go. There's one, that's probably enough to build it. Upgrade, all right, so now we're an alloy, alloy factory, which is going to be in this area that we'll have to upgrade. Or it's that building, I can't remember. Alright, so let's reveal it. Click that mission. Alright. <laughs> fighting that? Seems illogic. We got this, it's just a bug. Yeah, it's just a bug. It's a powerful bug, but it's a bug. 
All right, so let's go in here, um, upgrade these to give us a boost. So now we're vehicle level seven. I mean, everything counts in the beginning. Every little advantage. All right, so we're really short on energy, so let's... Do that. All right, so let's retreat our formations. And I don't have any other pods. You know what, I might, we have enough gold, yeah. I'll buy, so twice a day, the rare drop and the regular drop pod are half off. And this server has it as the rare drop. And some, for me, uh, some servers do a different way. They don't have a rare drop. They just have a, the regular drop. But when you get to 80, you can select a free hero. I much prefer that one. <laughs> <laughs> but this one doesn't, so we're going to buy it half price, uh, which is the best deal. Half price for gold. Uh, so you want to make sure you buy both of those every day. And then I know you saw that 888 for a 3 and one That is actually not the best deal. I've done the math. The best one will be when we get the, um, trying to the market later, which actually might be should be coming up in a bit but the when we have the market we can go in and spend gold and those are 270 on sale in there so if you do the math for three it's less than 888 so that that's a better deal to buy them in there unless you just have a buttload of gold then you can absolutely do that so we're going to go ahead and try to get these we're going to try to get that third hero because uh, if we can get that third hero then we can really um advance forward so on a free-to-play account that's really what you're hoping for that's why i really recommend that spending that dollar for yukiko because that gives you the third hero so we did not get lucky so we're stuck with two uh, and just for the purposes of this demonstration i'm not going to buy yukiko so yeah the enemy's stronger we're not going to be able to beat it this may be where the end of our video is. Let's go up to 16, see if I can get there. Ah, nope, not quite. Alright, so we can try to grow a little bit. Uh, by going out to the map and hunting grod swarms and grod behemoths to get um, more materials to level our buildings to grow up uh, but essentially this is you know level one to eight you can get there obviously in the length of time it took me to make this video um so that is very doable you can get to 15 very fast i think in the first two uh, three or four days if you're being very efficient at this point you can start putting resources elsewhere if you absolutely need to but i would recommend focusing only spending your resources on these buildings and the command center and what you need to upgrade. Because uh, once you get to 15, you have a little bit of clarity or uh, freedom to start doing other things. Like if you want to work on upgrading your vehicle and your aircraft and all that stuff. But one through eight, definitely stick to the script, only buy what it makes you buy. And then after that, you know, just kind of keep close. Definitely stay until you get to 12. Because you can get to 12 pretty quick. I think in two days you can get to 12. De especially depending on when you join. So, all right, we're going to go ahead and call the video. I appreciate everybody watching uh, the content today. And I really hope this uh, gave you a little bit of an insight. Uh, how to kind of power push through the opening of a game creation or an account creation so i hope to see you with on my next video and if you haven't already i should have two videos out now one on trophy farming and the 10 things every entry player should know please check those out in the playlist that'll be at the top right of your screen and we will see you on the next one with area of effect gaming thank you for watching to the end of the video if you liked what you saw 
please click the subscribe button on the screen and hit that notification bell if you want to see more content when I post it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.